been a number actually. Look what the cat dragged in. Or what the FedEx guy dropped off. Anyway, what's up everybody? I'm Noah from Phonog.com. And this is the HTC Touch Pro 2, the Sprint version. We told you it was going to be coming all four U.S. carriers in due time. T-Mobile is first. Sprint is now second out of the gate. This one hits on September 8th for reals. We got it a couple days early to review. And uh, $349.99 with a two-year contract after a $100 rebate. So $450 bucks up front with a two-year contract, $100 rebate. It's pricey, just like the T-Mobile version. Um, Sprint's got it now, too, on their 3G network, the uh, EVDO, EVDU, as I like to say, Reve. And uh, you've got Wi-Fi. It's world phone capable. Um, you've got the Sprint, a couple Sprint extras there. If you go with the Simply Everything plan, you get... Sprint TV, you get their uh, NFL and NASCAR Cup coverage, and you know some other stuff that, uh, that's Sprint only. But let's take a look, and of course you get the Sprint box, which is all yellow and stuff. Let's take a look at the device itself, see if it you know seems to be any different than uh, the T-Mobile version or the Unlock version, which you already showed you. Uh, also, just this morning, Sprint announced officially uh, launched the. HTC Hero Android phone that's coming October 11th for $179.99. All of a sudden, Sprint Smartphone Central, man, with the uh, the Pre Touch Pro 2, now uh, the Hero. Lot, lots of uh, smartphone options for Sprint customers. Here's your uh, power adapter, USB based. Here's your USB cable. So you can use this for data. You can also use this to plug into the phone for power. Here is an extra stylus. Here is a manual with a stoplight on it. It's green. That means you can go. You can get going. It's green. I just figured that out. It's pretty good. Either I'm smart or they did a nice job of a... Well, never mind. Uh, there's a SIM card. So it's a world band phone, GSM capable. There's your SIM card. Uh, your manuals. Recycle your old phones. Important to do that. Definitely, because you know people can put them to use when you're done with them, or they can be recycled uh, down into you know parts that can be reused. Oh, looky here! It's a three and a half millimeter headphone jack. Awesome. So already one up on the Timo version, which I just happen to have right here. The Timo version, just your straight uh, HT, the HTC USB audio capable USB. The Sprint version has separate USB and audio jacks. Uh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. I say. Um, otherwise, a little bit different, you know, the color scheme a little bit different. T-Mobile version on top here, you can see the MyFaves logo. Color scheme's a little different, and the Sprint version with this crazy dotted pattern on the back. Now, is that the Millennium Falcon? What is that? I don't even... I'm sure it has something to do with Sprint or something, but I don't even know what that is. Uh, otherwise, you know, 3.2 megapixel camera, the uh, coloring... On, how do I have a missed call if I just took it out of the box? That's kind of spooky. The color scheme a little bit different on the Sprint version um, as compared to the T-Mobile version. Uh, the keys are moved around just a little tiny bit. You can see, uh, actually we'll do it this way, the Sprint on top there. And you can see um, the email key on Sprint is the second one over, on T-Mobile is the third one over. Uh, the control key, I think if there is a control key on the Sprint version, it looks like instead it's a function key, and then a symbol, you got your symbol key the same there, the SMS, MMS key different on the Sprint version than the T-Mobile version. You know, not a big deal, but when you mess around with phones all day, every day for your job, you'd like to notice these things. Anyway, this is not a T-Mobile review, I already did that. Back to the Sprint version, it's got the same crazy tilting screen with your kind of infinitely adjustable tilt mechanism there. It's got the uh, same 3.6 inch touchscreen display with your zoom bar, your straight talk, speakerphone on the back. Oh, let me point out again, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. That's just, you know, that's exciting. Uh, the widgets seem to be pretty much the same except you've got Sprint Navig... So wait, sorry, Sprint Music. So you've got the Sprint Music Store. So it's kind of the same uh, music widget as on the other HTC Touch Flow 3D devices. But then you've got 
a link that'll take you to the music store, launches the Opera browser, Opera 9.5 comes installed, which is nice. Uh, we'll go back, we'll get out of that, we don't need to look at the music store right now. And then you've got Sprint Navigation, so a widget for Sprint Map Navigation, and a widget for Sprint TV. And then otherwise, I think your same widget. So a couple of extra TouchFlow widgets on the Sprint version to launch those Sprint services. Uh, otherwise, you're looking at, you know, I think pretty much the same device, the Windows Mobile with the TouchFlow 3D. It's a resistive display, not capacitive, but uh, it definitely works really well on the, um, the T-Mobile and the Unlocked versions that I tried. 480 by 800 pixels, 262,000 colors, 3.6 inch, like we said. Uh, 1500 milliamp hour battery, 512 megabytes of ROM, 288 megabytes of RAM. ROM and RAM, those are fun words to say. And again, there's your widgets in widescreen mode. So there you go, kind of a first look at the Sprint version of the HTC Touch Pro 2. And uh, let's just open up the back here to show you for that Millennium Falcon thing again. That's crazy. Is that the Now Network symbol or something? Is the the Sprint symbol? I don't think so. I don't know. I'm going to have to find out what that's all about. But let's, uh, let's get the battery cover off here. And take the battery out. And there's your SIM card underneath. So your SIM card slot. CDMA and SIM world band. I'll tell you what, if you're on T-Mobile, you might want to get this one and unlock it so you get that headphone jack. No, I didn't just say that. Anyway, there you go, first look. Touch Pro 2 for Sprint, September 8th, $349.99 after rebate to your contract. Much, much more on this and all the new phones coming out. Hero coming out soon for Sprint. Motorola launching some uh, Android devices next week. We'll be there covering that live. You know, it's the time. Back to school season, holiday shopping season coming up. Lots of phones coming out. So uh, stay with us. We'll bring them all to you. For Phone Dog, I'm Noah. That's me in the reflection there. The guy with the bald head. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, and don't forget, not only can you win free phones on the OnePod banner on PhoneDog.com, but uh, I'm celebrating reaching the 5,000 follower mark on Twitter, which is a testament to all you. Thank you so much for your support and for following. And, uh, you know, if, if you don't follow me on Twitter, uh, I hang out there a little too much. And uh, I do like, you know, answering people's tweets. I can't, can't get to all of them, but I try to get to a lot of them. And I like it when people call me out on stuff. You know, not call me names, but, you know, call me out on things I missed or things I might have, uh, you know, maybe handled unfairly or something. So it's a good place to converse. Anyway, point being, Go over there and you follow me, phone dog underscore Noah, and I'll be doing some giveaways coming up soon, Twitter-specific giveaways to celebrate 5,000 followers. Uh, you know, things more like accessories and fun stuff like that, because all the big giveaways are on the phone dog site, but still, another chance to win free stuff, and that's always good, right? All right, anyway, like I said 10 minutes ago, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.